Lesson 3, Encaustic Art Stamping. Here we're going to show how to use rubber stamps in a very simple style. Now rubber stamps create images that give a meaning to the picture, like the fairy here. Um, and the silhouettes are very simple to use. The wax rides over the surface of the stamp, and you can still see the stamp through the waxes. And you can use this to give a message to a card very, very quickly. Now the stamp we're going to use is the seahorse because it floats around in blue stuff and is very easy. Remember you need the encaustic art wax blocks, the small painting iron, the sealed non-absorbent cards to work on too. And then in your work area have the disposable paper underneath, a pad of computer paper is good, your painting card on top, wax is one side, iron the other side, tissues at the back for cleaning and polishing. Now if you're left-handed, you can just tape the cable into the handle of the iron so it's out of your way, and set it on low. Remember, low so that the wax doesn't uh, dribble off. Rubber stamps come in all shapes and sizes. You have the rubber on one side and the image on the other. So, off with the seahorse. Begin by using a dye pad, a dye ink, not a pigment ink. And this is a raised dye pad so that you can fit any size stamp over it. Take your stamp and just gently press it down. Now, you need to have it shiny with ink all over the surface of the stamp, so puddle it around a little bit until you can see the ink reflecting. And then take your card and just print the stamp carefully but firmly onto the card. Now, obviously, you need to dry it. Now, the quickest way to do that is to put a tissue on top of the ink and then just iron it. But if you leave it to dry naturally, then you'll actually get a darker print. Anyway, doing it with the iron means that you're ready to go straight away. Clear wax is vital because that's going to weaken the colour as we go over the stamp. Don't use white, use clear, plenty of clear wax. And remember, you can set it at just below low if you like, and that helps stop the wax falling off, dribbling off as you're working. But basically, put clear wax onto the iron so that that's going to create the medium that you then put the colour into. Now, I'm going to use blue-green here and then some blue. And if you notice, I'm putting the darker colour at the edges and a, a sort of lighter colour where the actual stamp's going to go so that it doesn't get hidden away. Just work gently over, and there you've got your first possible result. Seahorses floating about in blue stuff. Now if you put dark colour actually over the stamp, of course you're going to hide it. So that's pointless. Don't do that. Luckily, because we're using encaustic with the heat, you can just melt and wipe the wax off. Similarly with white wax, because that's opaque, it hides it a bit like mist. So clear wax, small amount of translucent colour, and then just work gently down over your stamp until you get a result that you like. Now, once you've got a nice background around the stamp, you can work to enhance your picture. And you can put dark colour on, just don't go over the stamped area. So working around, underneath, to the edge, dabbing, smoothing, to create that sort of underwater effect. And the lifting marks are very coral-like, so it's quite handy, really. And then using the point of the iron, here, sort of jiggling it and shuddering it as you go along to create seaweedy effects. And then maybe finish off just with a simple border. Just wipe down the edge of the card using the iron. You can stamp it or wriggle it, like I'm doing here, and just go all the way around to make a nice neat edge, which could then be mounted onto a white background card perhaps. Um, and there you go, seahorses floating in blue stuff. Very quick and simple. Now where the seahorses float, a tree doesn't. It has to be anchored to the ground. So you start in a similar way, clear wax, put sky colours on, Work over the sky colours until you get nice light behind the tree. Just think of it as a sky behind the tree. And then you can take darker colours onto the iron. But remember, don't go over the stamp except at the very bottom of the tree because then you can anchor the tree into the ground and it feels solid and firm. Then you can use the tip of the iron to add some posts, for instance, like this little fence, or to put in grasses like you might normally want to do in a landscape or dab into it. So now we've got a nice firmly anchored and earthed tree. Where the Pegasus flies, so seahorses underwater, tree anchored, Pegasus is flying. And here's the same thing, clear wax, sky colours, sort of sunrise or sunset colours. 
and then darker colors underneath so that we're not actually going over the stamp at all. We're working underneath, down the card, to put on your landscape as you normally would. And then you get a lovely um, fantasy effect. So you need the encaustic art iron. And if you get the art set, you've got waxes, cards, information, everything else you need. Learn the Skills DVD shows the seahorse picture in full, as well as lots of other techniques. And rubber stamps come in all shapes and sizes. Um, silhouette ones are the easiest. This was lesson three in stamping.